One of the important uh, action lines within the WSIS outcome documents is e-government. Now, the United Arab Emirates is already very well advanced when it comes to e-government. In fact, it wants to move to smart government. I have here Mr. Hamad Amansuri. He's the Director General of the UAE Smart Government Project. And, well, we all work under deadlines, Mr. Mansuri, but you've got a very, very tight deadline to meet. Uh, your government is expecting you to meet the deadline of moving to smart government by May 2015. Now, that's uh, not very far away, is it? Uh, do you think you're going to meet that deadline? First, uh, we have a very good history with, with, the, with the progress in the, uh, in the electronics uh, uh, government, e-government. And uh, we started with, uh, with a lot of initiatives in that, in that time. We are building on that success. Now we are having around 200% uh, percent, uh, mobile penetration in the UAE, one of the highest uh, mobile penetration worldwide. Also, we, we, we have 82% of people using mobile phone for their daily life. And also, we have around 62% of our population using the internet, using the smartphones. Our commitment is to, to move to the mobile phone because uh, there is a lot of, because our, our uh, people in, in our country choosing that channel for the government to communicate with. Our leadership also, they have a very, a very big commitment to provide a very luxurious e-government services. Our main goal in the smart government is to move from customer satisfaction to customer happiness. Uh, we moved with a lot of initiatives. We start the uh, UAE uh, guidelines in the beginning. We finish it within one, one month. After one month, we have government guidelines. Uh, that guideline will enable the government to start developing their own services using the guideline. Uh, we are talking in the, inside the guideline about the mobile security, how to develop easy interface. We are talking about the content in the, in the, in the, uh, what, we, what you have to have in that mobile, uh, in, in the, in the mobile applications. And also we are talking about the self-assessment -assess, uh, where the users can can uh, assess the, the, the service and also having participation in the service or any recommendation from his side. After that, we started with the roadmap. We finished the roadmap within two, two, two months. Still, we are moving aggressive to, 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 uh, to, uh, to reach that deadline. Thanks for the Dubai e-governments, Abu Dhabi e-governments, and all Emirates e-governments. We are working as one team. I think this is the main key. Uh, what Sheikh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid sent to us, that we have no other, ch uh, other chance. We have only one chance is to, to succeed and to move all the governments to uh, smart, smart, mobile, uh, smart services. So you're confident? We are confident because now we have around 105 uh, mobile applications. We have around 700 uh, government services over the mobile. So we are in the very safe mood there. But still, there is a lot of challenges that we are looking, looking, uh, we are, we are, uh, we are looking for also. We, we, we started our training program, capacity building for the UAE National. We trained around 2,000 uh, government uh, participants, also some universities and schools. After that, we started with the trust service manager, where we need to, to use our mobile as uh, ID and also as a payment gateway using NFC technology and any other uh, t t technologies. So uh, we are in the safe zone and also there is some services that we would like to, to, to include to, to al also enable the private sector in that country. So we think that uh, we can meet it, but uh, the vision with the, with the smart government will be continuing after that time until we have a complete smart and integrated intelligence uh, government. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank for your you. Time. Thank you.